right there YouTube welcome back to the channel another video on Old Red our project 1983 Peterbilt 359 now the plan for today's video is I want to build a flush mount 2 inch receiver hitch on the back of this truck for flat towing my 1989 Toyota pickup then we're also going to wire a simple flat floor wiring connector for a set of magnetic tow lights here So I plan to build this hitch into this rear cross member here. And it's fairly important that I actually flush mount this because I do have the third axle, the pusher axle on the truck here. It means that your fifth wheel ends up being further forward than you typically would be. The pusher axle will take weight off of the steer tire as well as the drive tires, which means you're on with your fifth wheel further forward to compensate for that. And so depending on the trailer, rear clearance between your, the back of your truck and your landing gear can get fairly tight on certain trailers, especially if they're not really designed to be pulled by a pusher axle truck. Now this isn't going to be a super heavy duty hitch. I really only intend this hitch to just flat tow my Toyota pickup. This isn't going to be built to haul 30,000 pound panel hitch. Which is also why I'm going to be going with the flat floor wiring co connector to uh, help reduce any temptation of overloading this hitch. I've got a piece of receiver tube here that's going to be recessed and welded in here and reinforced. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to belt this off of this truck. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove this rear cross member. Okay, so I've gotten the first four bolts out of here. I've snapped three of them. Only one of them actually came out. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to plasma cut the rest of them out. There's two more in the bottom of the frame here. And then I've got two bolts here that hold the light bracket on on the bottom there. So I'm just going to plasma cut those last six bolts out. Uh, they're rusty enough. I'm not going to be reusing them anyway. So let's just get them cut out of there and get this cross member off the truck. Alright, so now with this cross member off, I'm going to go ahead and grind some paint with the flat disc out of this center area here, round about where I want to mount the hitch. And then we're going to get it laid out, and then we're going to have to cut a hole out of here. So.
Okay, so I've got this fitted up where I'm relatively happy with things. Uh, I got paint ground off everywhere I got a weld. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this tack welded in place. Double check, make sure I'm really happy with everything. And then uh, go from there. Okay, so I got this all welded up now. Now, in, in my typical fashion, I got kind of started on this. I kind of had an idea in my mind, and I just kind of started adding to it, making it way overkill for what it's intended for. So, just to run you through here what we got here. We got our two-inch receiver tube. You notice our hole is in the backside here for our hitch pin. That's intentional. Uh, we're welded all the way around all four sides on the front this is a double pass weld right here so a nice big weld there we've got a quarter inch spreader plate across the bottom here and then we've got a gusset on the top and we've got gussets on the back now if we flip this up it's also welded around the outside here and then ground almost smooth now grinding a weld does take a little bit of the strength out of it, but we are double pass welded on the back side as well. This is just welded and then ground smooth just mostly for cosmetic reasons. And then we've got a couple of D-rings for our safety chains. So this hitch is way overkill for flat towing a 1800 pound Toyota pickup behind it. I don't intend to ever tow trailers with this hitch. Uh, it's just a two inch hitch. I can pretty much guarantee you that this hitch is going to be stronger than any commercially available class three or class four hitch that you'd buy for a pickup truck. So really this thing should be able to tow anything that you can tow with the two inch receiver. Although that's not my intention to do that. This is just going to be to flat tow a vehicle behind the truck. But everything is welded around every single side. We got Every side on all of our gussets are all welded. This thing should be very strong. About the only failure point that I can see on this is if you were to put something on here with a huge amount of tongue weight, this cross member could crease right in this area here and the whole cross member could twist. But that would take a very large tongue weight. What I'm intending to do will have zero tongue weight. So that's not gonna be an issue and I believe that anything with enough tongue weight to cause this cross member to crease right here and fold would be far more weight on that than any two inch receiver hitch is gonna be rated for. So we're gonna be absolutely fine on this. I got no problems with the strength. I'm very confident in how this is gonna work out. I think we can go ahead. Let's uh, we're get a little paint on here and we're gonna start getting this thing bolted back up on the truck.
Alright, so you guys are going to have to excuse some of this wind noise. I've got a dead cat on this, but uh, I'm sure it's still bleeding through. This wind is just whipping out here today. But, got the hitch reinstalled on the truck here. Everything's pretty good there. Pretty happy with everything. I got my four-way light plug wired up for my magnetic tow lights here. So, that's all going to work out pretty good. So the next phase of this here is I got to take my little Toyota pickup and get it rigged up for this tow bar. Now this is a manufactured tow bar and if you have any questions about the strength of that hitch, I can absolutely guarantee you that these four little, I don't know what those are, 7 16 bolts would fail long before that hitch that I built ever would. Originally when I got that tow bar, a buddy of mine gave it to me and he was going to throw it out. He hadn't used it in years, and he said, hey, do you want it? And I thought, yeah, sure, that'd be great. My initial thought was, oh, I'll take that thing, and I'll set it up on the front of my service pickup, put a hitch on the back of my side dump trailer, and then I can tow my service pickup out to job sites when I do road work projects and stuff. And, uh, yeah, basically, as soon as he dropped that thing off and I looked at it, it's like, no, that thing is way, way too light duty to be flat towing a 10,000 pound service truck. But it should be just perfect for a little Toyota pickup like this. I don't think this truck even weighs 2,000 pounds. I think the curb weight on these is something like 18 or 1,900 pounds, something like that. So this should be just perfect for this. Definitely got to get rid of this hardware store grade zero chinesium chain here. I wanted to even hang a freaking planter from this. So we we'll have to get rid of that safety chain put an actual substantial chain on there and we need to build up some mounting points for this now a second when i looked at this that you know you could turn these so that they're pointed out and i could probably just build a uh, spreader to go over this cross member and bolt it right through these holes here but looking at this i think this is really supposed to be in this orientation because that gives you pivot up and down as well as some some side to side there takes any bind out of the bolts if it was like this there would be bind on these bolts anytime the hitch moved up and down as you're going over uh, uneven road surfaces and stuff so it looks like that needs to be in that orientation now what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to take these tow hooks off. I'm going to cut a couple pieces of this uh, pretty substantial angle iron. It's quarter inch thick, uh, three by three angle iron. And I'm just going to cut a couple pieces of that. And we're going to drill holes to go into the bolt holes for the tow point. And uh, we're we'll bolt that up there, have a hole drilled for this bolt. And that'll bolt right up there. We can take a ratchet strap, tie it to the front of this bull bar here and to hold it up. And then we can just take the whole thing off when we're not gonna be using it. And that should work just fine. So I think that's gonna be the plan here. Uh, nothing to it but to do it and let's get her done.
I think uh, lower drop pitch and proper safety change and this is going to be ready to go. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below.